Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify the square root of 48. Now, there's a couple different ways that we can simplify the square root of 48, um, especially if we're looking into breaking it down into its prime, um, into factors of, or its, per, I'm sorry, of its perfect square factors. And so what I'm gonna do is, you know, when you're looking into breaking it down, we wanna be able to use the largest square factor or largest square number of all of these. Now. Some of you might say, well, I know it's even, so I know that I could easily do square root of 24 times uh, 2, right? Some of you might easily remember, oh, well, that's going to be square root of 6 times square root of 8. Yes, that's true. And then some of you might say, well, is there any larger number, a larger square number up here? Also, 4 works as well. Uh, I just don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, is there other, other, any other larger number that divides into evenly into 48 and 16? So you could say square root of 16 times 3. All right. Now, these are all possible possibilities that you can use to factorize 48. I do um, caution you to always try to use your square factors. All right. Try to use number. Be careful with using numbers that are not square, for instance, 6 and 8 and 24 and 2, because that can get you in trouble. Um, with other numbers where you won't be able to simplify them. However, for these, you can break these down a little bit further. You can break down uh, the square root of, you can break these down farther, but it becomes a little bit work. And I'm going to go through one of them and show you why it is helpful to always use the square, t square number. So for instance, square root of 4, or square root of 16, is 4 times the square root of 3. Now let's just pretend you did this one. Well. I see square root of 8, I can break down again with the square root of 4. So I could say square root of 6 times um, square root of 4 times 2. Then I can say that's 2 times the square root of 6 times 2, um, which is 12. Then you can break this down again with 4, so it'd be 2 times um, 4 times 3. Then 2 times square, then 2 times 2 times square root of 3, which is 4 square root of 3. And you can see how much extra work I did with this, which would be the same over here. So it's always important when determining your um, which factors to break them down that you find the largest square number that divides um, into your radicand. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify a, a radical or square root of a number. Thanks.